Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and today we're here to talk about Homestead. The deadline to file your homestead in the state of Florida is March 1st, so if you have a property that you maybe bought in 2018 or even before and you have not already filed for homestead, make sure you do it by March 1st to get the, the tax benefit for it. So you might be asking, what is homestead? So homestead is something that uh, the state of Florida added to our state constitution in 1992 with the Save Our Homes Amendment to the Constitution. And basically what it means is that uh, it, your primary residence, your homestead residence, is, is protected from creditors if you ever had any sort of bankruptcy or anything like that. Uh, but the real benefit is lower taxes. So on your homesteaded property, uh, the county will take your assessed value, and if it's your homestead, they'll subtract 50000 to get to your taxable value. So that's a substantial savings in uh, your taxes. So for example, if you bought a $400,000 house, if it was your homestead property, they're basing the taxes off of 350000 So already that's a very, very substantial savings. The other thing that's great about it is that it puts a cap on how much the county can increase the assessed value of your homestead property by the lesser of CPI or 3%. So CPI is what the government uses to measure inflation in the country, or 3% is obviously 3%. So for example, if you bought a property in 2018 for 100,000, to use a nice round easy number, and this year it's now worth 125,000, the county, if it was your homestead property, the county can only assess it at 103,000, which means you're paying lower taxes than you would if it was not your homesteaded property. Now, this kind of compounding effect can build up over time, so if the market goes up and up and up, but your assessed value can only go up by no more than 3% each year, you're getting much smaller growth in your taxes, so it keeps your taxes low on your primary residence. Where this comes into great effect is when you go to sell your property maybe 10 years down the line, if you have a property that you bought in, let's say, 1991 or whenever it was, and your taxes are about $3,000 a year, the next buyer is going to be able to assume your low tax base for the remainder of the year, which will help them qualify better for your house. They can technically buy more house with the same amount of money. So it's a good benefit to the next buyer as well as keeping your taxes very, very low throughout the time that you own the property. So the deadline to file for Homestead is March 1st. I'm going to send out a link uh, on how to do it. You can do it all online. It's very, very simple. Uh, but make sure you do it if you bought a property in 2018 or even before. Uh, if you bought a property in 2017 or before and you're not sure if you have Homestead on your property, call me, text me, email me, let me know. I can look it up online in about three seconds and tell you yes or no, your property is Homesteaded. And then I can give you the directions on how to do it if it is not. So I hope that was helpful for you guys in explaining Homestead and why it's very, very important. If you have any other questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We're always looking for new topics to cover on our, uh, our video series here. So if you have any questions that we need to answer, please feel free to let me know. Thank you so much. Have a great day.